us better understand the um, connection where you're, you're pulling all of this um, great knowledge and experience that you have, the work you're doing with health partners, the work you're doing with these foundations, and really focusing on community health. So are there, there are pieces of community health that really resonate with you? Is it, the, is it education? Is it um, uh, preschool? I mean, is there parts of that continuum that are particularly important to you? Yeah, there are. Um, there are probably about three that are really important. So one is certainly education, and another is early childhood development, particularly brain development by age five. So by the time you're three years old, about 80% of your brain development has already occurred. And so those really early days, months, and years are incredibly important to a child's future. So I'm very, very interested in that. A third area is an area still characterized by stigma and poor access, and that is mental illness. And we know on average people wait um, as long as 10 years before seeking care and treatment for mental illness the first time. And so much could be better in terms of quality of life and health um, if we're able to deal with the stigma that is still associated with mental illnesses. Yep. And that's an important initiative at Health Partners, right? It yep. is. It's, yep. uh, it's important in my work life and it's important in our charitable giving. Uh, we've been quite involved with the new Dorothy Day Center in St. Paul because about half of people who experience mental illness are also homeless. And so making sure that someone who experiences mental illness has a safe place to stay and a shot at permanent housing is really important to me. Yeah, that is really important work. Um, when you think about healthy communities and uh, your focus on education and homelessness and mental health, um, what are some changes you really want to see in the state of Minnesota over the next five to ten years? Oh, great. That's a great question. I would like to see every child in our state who has is at high risk in early childhood, and by that I mean infant to pre-K, have access to the services that would help that child get a great start in life. I would like to see us have a community-based mental health system that offers community-based living and supportive services, and that simply doesn't exist today. It doesn't exist in the metro area, and it really doesn't exist outside the metropolitan area. So moving from institutional support to community-based support would be a great step from my perspective. And what does it take to do something like those? That, those are some pretty big systemic issues, and so is that um, the work of a health institution like Health Partners and the work of a community foundation and the work of public policy makers or how do you see that? What all needs to come together for yeah, something so like you, that? You are so right. <laughs> it's all of the above. Yeah. We need both the health care organizations like Health Partners. We need public policy change and redirection of public funds. We need the charitable and philanthropic community coming together and we need um, all of those um, capabilities lined up to support change. As philanthropy is such an important tenant of a community foundation, how do you think donors can become more involved in some of these systemic issues that need addressing? How, how do we help connect the dots to the philanthropists out in the community and the big systemic issues we have that we want to be addressing? That's a great question, and I think it's right in the sweet spot for community foundations to be the place that can help individuals both connect with their own, own interests in giving and find great ways to do that together with others because it's got a powerful multiplier effect. Right, right. And so I would turn to St. Paul Foundation to ask the question, how can I best use my dollars to support a different system of mental health care in our state? How can I best direct my funds so that um, they're, they're being used to promote racial equity? How can I use my dollars together with others um, who are interested in early childhood education and making sure that as many kids as possible in our community graduate from high school?